Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros. And today we have a very original and not copied from anywhere video idea. We're gonna be building a gaming PC for 69.69 and the other 69 is where we kind of get our originality from. So yeah, you might be wondering what the heck is going on on this table. We have a bunch of parts that we picked up from a guy locally that kind of gave us some inspiration for this idea. Jackson went out basically hunting for PC parts to do this $69 and 69 cent gaming PC. And we got a bunch of stuff here that we're gonna kind of Frankenstein together to make that happen. But before we do that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Arctic and their IA Freezer 35 CPU cooler. We recently used this cooler in our $1,000 PC build guide here on the channel and absolutely love the performance it delivers for the price. Oh, and of course it has that beautiful ARGB we love. This cooler also has great RAM clearance support for very tall RAM heat sinks and a very sleek design that can match the aesthetic of any gaming PC build. If you're looking to build your next gaming PC or upgrade your current system, then look no further than the Arctic IA Freezer 35 CPU cooler by checking the link in the description down below. And special thanks again to Arctic for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get to the video, shall we? So as Matt mentioned, I was scouring Facebook Marketplace and I ended up messaging probably about eight people total because you gotta think, I can only spend about 40 to 50 bucks on the actual PC because the other parts I really need to get to make it gaming oriented, I only had about 20 bucks left. So I messaged about eight people. I had about four respond, but this person right here responded the quickest. And we originally were just buying, I think this Dell underneath the one right there, which has a Pentium in it and Windows 7. He didn't even have anything in the description. I just knew it was an Optiplex like 390. And I was like, hey, that'll work. I mean, that's good enough. I know we can throw a low profile card and an SSD in there. So I kind of preemptively just went ahead and like ordered the card in the SSD, which we'll get to in a minute, because I knew it was right around that 69 dollar budget and then the guy actually ended up kind of like recognizing me and uh, he was like would you guys want to just buy some other stuff because it's a long drive and we we're like yeah just bring it all so now we have all this so yeah we have all these pc parts that we're going to kind of go through and figure out what our game plan is we kind of have an idea what we're going to do it's probably going to involve taking a cpu from one system um, slapping in the other parts that we ordered and just kind of going over this entire haul that we have here but yeah let's just not waste any more time and look at all this stuff so the main system the only one i actually knew that we were going to be buying is this one right here this is a optiplex 3010, which I figured would have had like an i3 or i5. It actually ended up having a Pentium in it, which we do need to confirm, but it more than likely has that. We paid 45 bucks. He was asking 50, but I was like, man, that leaves me with $19 and some change. I need him down five bucks. So $45 for that. We also managed to get a 560 Ti for $15, which eh, not a bad deal. We paid $30 for 16 gigs. And this is from Amazon. We actually buy stuff all the time. Brand new team group, DDR3, 1600 megahertz. E5 200, but that was just there. We kind of just bought mm -hmm. it, you know, as a Pentium. But we did get an X XPS board, which I feel like this literally just raked those pins. I already see some nice bent pins in there. That so I'll... that's gonna be fun. We also got a 3010, which is going to be uh, one of these two. And it looks like we paid 20 for that. We got a 390, which I think that's this one here. A little bit older, second gen. That was 20 bucks. We got a 790 for 35. That's this full size system. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we figured since you know what, an old Pentium with this GPU is probably not gonna be that great. And considering we already bought a system with the i3, this should be easily able to, you know, transfer the i3 over into this system. We'll kind of take an average of all the systems we have because again, we paid $45 for this. We paid far less for the entire bundle. We really just need to verify if that is a Pentium in there. Uh, try to clean this thing up a little bit and uh, yeah, just go from there. But once we do figure out this i3 situation or basically what CPU we're gonna go with, we're gonna be adding some new parts. By new, he means used. So, oh, wow. Yeah, we got a, uh, I think this is a, this is PNY. I wanna say PNY, yeah, PNY new SSD. To us, used to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> So it's a 120 gig SSD. I think I paid like eight bucks for this, maybe less. We actually used a similar card to this. This is the R7250, which is actually a two gig of VRAM card, this GDDR5. We normally use the R5240, which is one gig. And I think it comes in DDR3 and five. So this one is supposedly a decent little upgrade. Um, same type of ports, display port, uh, DVI. You can run dual monitors, they can do 4K. So, and it will fit in this. And that's another reason why we kind of need to go with this one. We can't really use this one now. Like our full size system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into under the hood of these two systems, I guess, or maybe just whatever we think has an i3 in it. We're gonna see Pro what i3. Maybe that one that says i3. Yeah, and that one looks a little more taken apart. Let's just figure that out, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Make sure we don't have two like crazy mismatched sticks. Four gigs of Samsung. We actually have matching RAM. That's a good start. 
God, that is like no thermal paste. Can you read it? I3. I can't tell which gen. It looks like it like might a, be third gen. Oh, 3220 maybe? 3220. Nice. Good guess. Um, yeah, so the two core, four thread, not an I5. I mean, I'd rather have like just one of the quad core I5s, but that's not really in the budget. And he didn't really, he did sell us an I5 actually. Where did, I don't even know where that went. I was talking about- I was just looking at that. It's this funny because the... I was over here talking about the bundle. Like, this was not a good price, but no. we got a fourth gen I5. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, that was included in the bundle guys. So that price that we said of like 20 bucks for the bundle and included 30 a 40, bucks for the bundle 30 bucks include a 45 70 that is, somewhere that is missing now it's been stolen. i don't know what we do with it but it, it's here somewhere i mean we have about a thousand of them so it's just going to blend in for now but we don't have a system that can support it though i'm glad that we know we have a third gen i3 we're going to be putting in our 120 gig ssd we're going to be putting in our 250 we'll show you guys how to do all that 12 dollars for the r7 250 45 dollars for the 3010 we are going to be using yes some parts from this like the dvd drive the front panel all right you know what new official deal 16 gigs of RAM, 120 gig SSD, R7 250. We're gonna take the faceplate from this one and the DVD drive from this one. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we wanna show you guys just how we do all that along the way. 69, 69. Yeah, we're gonna install our 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, who <laughs> installs 16 gigs of RAM with an i3? Fun times. All right, so yeah, we got our uh, good old thermal paste on there. This is pretty clean. This will suffice. He's gonna gently set it down. Yeah, that's good. Um, got the RAM, got the cooler. I guess I'll let Jackson go and install this in the graphics card. And wow, look at that. It's ready? ready to go. One, two, three. So we're going to pull up this bracket. All right, so we're going to make sure our latch is undone. We're going to line everything up. Got that back on. So here's our tray, which is really designed for hard drives. But basically, I'm just gonna do away with this and we're gonna use like these squares or like some of these holes and we're just gonna mount the SSD somewhere in there. But first, I wanna fix this thing a little bit. Make sure you don't go breaking stuff. All right, do we actually have the same lineups? It looks like we do. This is much better looking. All right, so for the SSD, I think I'm gonna use these holes. That'll do. All right, so we're plugging in our SATA power now. Look at that, guys. We got SATA data, SATA power, ta-da. So now we have taken some of these part systems. This is something I just really want you guys to keep in mind that you can do at home for a total of 165 bucks without even swindling someone. We got like, you know, pretty decent deals on stuff that you could flip at home. And this just is the example. We have done free PCs before and usually it's one of these. They just throw these things away practically because they have to get rid of the hard drives. They don't want people getting their stuff. Once these systems are done for, they've gotten their money's worth in their eyes. But for people like us, we know that there's a lot more money to be had in them and a lot more years worth of just gaming and office work to be had. So we're gonna show you guys just how well this thing games now. All right, guys, we're going to start off with some oh, Overwatch 2 and we have really scraped the bottom of the barrel with these settings. So we're on all low settings as far as the graphical quality goes. And then we actually bumped the uh, render scale down to about 60%. You could go down another 10%, but gains are kind of marginal. Um, set the desired frame rate to 78. Not quite getting that though. <laughs> um, I definitely don't think I would have, um, like I would try to do like a DPS, like a, you know, like hit scan or something. Like someone actually needs to aim. It's, it's still pretty crazy though that, I mean, a newer game like this, you can in, in theory run with an old oh. dual core processor. So that's, that's at least something. God, I did not mean to just wake him up. Stay with me, lady. Stay with me. And I'm trying to... Oh my god, why are you in here fighting two people on him? Why are you being a DPS on him? I swear to... No. Okay, I, I got pinned twice in a row by this man. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh, two no. hours. Oh no. Oh, oh it got no. really laggy when I ulted. Yeah. Get out of here, railings. I want it to be not up to code. Oh, oh, you can also you can get out. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm solo gaming. Matt's doing business daddy stuff. Business Check stuff writing. has to happen. Oh my God, this Mercy's effing my day up, guys. Dude, get this Lucio. Oh goodness, we're still going. We're, oh, we're escorting the payload. Ooh, I just stunned him without getting stunned. Even though I could do that. The nice. Yeah. Could, could, oh my God. Every, oh my God. Please let me go. Oh, <laughs> dang it. You Lucio. Oh, Ryan can oh. die. Ryan can die. Okay, now I can, I guess. Oh, we went turret mode. Yeah. Well, that's Overwatch. I wouldn't say it's the most playable. Um, no. You're going to have some moments here and there where it's uh, very stuttery, but for $69, it's doing the job. Let's try Valorant. All right, gamers, we are now in Valorant, and uh, yeah, we're at 1080p, low settings, and um, yeah, the FPS is pretty solid. Um, the latency is very, like, I wish it was more consistent. 
because the fact that it's just like, oh, it's fine, it's six, and then goes with 12 randomly, <laughs> is worse than it being just 12 all the time, if I'm being perfectly honest. So we'll see how we hold up here. Who feels the chunks? Like you can still I, kill I, people. I can still get hit. Oh! He had two. I think, I think it's, let's we'll see if I can snip. Oop. Oh. Oop time. <laughs> <laughs> no scope. Oh, they're coming to knife you, they're coming to knife you. Really? I feel like I had, okay, I got killed by the gun. <laughs> by the little peep. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> now we're cooking, I don't think we're cooking. Me and cooking with the sauce. No, $69 PC. I mean, if you have decent expectations, at least play games, Minecraft would be a game that will run fine. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll load up a, a little bit like a one or two other built-in benchmarks that are a little bit easier to run just to show like, you know, the full potential of the system. But you can deal with some latency with that i3. I think a significant difference would be getting an i5. Mm -hmm. um, the R7 250 is still pretty capable, but yeah, that's 69.69. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this $69, $69 PC. Long story short, it is really fun just using Facebook Marketplace, Nextdoor, LetGo, you name it, just local sites, or even hop on eBay or Goodwill and place some bids and see if you can get a system for this good of a price. Now I'm gonna step to the side and McAllister right here is gonna put the list of prices we ended up calculating. And if you guys like these kind of videos, let us know in the comment section down below and also shop around on eBay using some of the affiliate links in the description down below if you wanna hunt for a used PC and get into PC gaming on the cheap. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye so you could get this PC right here completed, tested, ready to go for obviously a little more than $69, but PCBros.Tech is our PC selling business and you can help support us. PCBros.Tech, we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. And if you use our code, TOTSBROS2 on checkout, you'll save 2%. Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.